now we will perform the edit operation for that i am going to create one http get method here we have to pass the primary key that is product id we have to pass here we have to check id is valid or not here we can display the custom message also if required so just i am passing not form so else here we can get the product based on the product id here we can pass the primary key that is id so finally we will assign the product to the view also here we have to load the categories for the edit purpose again i am calling the that private method which we created for loading the categories now we will create another post action method to post the data from the edit form here we will get the data in the form of model that is product model here we have to check whenever we are posting data we have to check model state validation if model state is valid then we have to submit the data otherwise it will return to same thing we have to implement inside the edit method also we are going to update the products table we have to assign the model finally we have to save the changes here once it is updated we are going to redirect into index view now we have to design the edit form for that right click add view i'm selecting the empty razor view add i'll name it as edit here again i'm calling model It's product model here i'm going to add title update product i'm going to display inside my form here i'm going to add one form i have to define the action here going to be edit 
so I'll copy the content from the create so we no need to design all these things again I'll copy this I'll paste it inside the edit form here I'm going to add one hidden field to store the primary key that is ID input type will be hidden ID so rest all the things will be same and here uh, instead of create we have to make it as update and these styles I will change it to success run the application I am going to click on edit so there is an error here cannot apply index to an expression ok here we missed something edit so this should be view data it's not the view back I'll run it again here we will check the model data category is null category id everything is available i think here model state is having some errors validation state is invalid because that model because that categories are empty that's why it's showing this error where we no need of that categories so we can exclude that categories from the model so here I will make it as model state dot remove here I can pause that categories so that we will not have any address for the model state now again I will debug this these categories we will use the binding purpose only we are not going to use it for post the data so we can uh, exclude from the model state validation I click on products edit so here instead of mobile I am making as TV update so this time model state is valid true so it's going to update the data it's updated and it's redirecting to index view so this one also changed to TV so the data is updating perfectly now we have to implement the delete operation here